So, the extractor? Right. Knowing Anka, she had a contingency plan. Looks like she set it to overheat without a proper biometric scan. I can probably deactivate it. Mmm, probably. Gorik? It's not stopping. It's not. Ah, get away from me. Oh, no. Everyone all right? Gorik, Jory. Fine. How do we not see that coming? Can we... I don't know. Can we fix it? Doesn't look like it. Gorik? We'd have to learn how it works. It, it would take too long. There's only one person who can fix this. And she won't. June. What if we could prove that Anka was the one behind the attack? Provide some evidence. Well, for starters, Anka's dead. And secondly, your evidence just blew up. The extractor blew up, but we don't need the whole thing. If the extractor's core is still in one piece, it should still have residual aurine magic stored in there. And we can show that to Minsek. Plausible deniability. Nice thinking, Gorik. And so, the apprentice detective finally becomes the master, huh? Hmm, no. Okay. But as a sleuthing partner, you're not half bad. Thanks for seeing me. I didn't know who else to turn to. I'm still getting the hang of this pirate business. It's been tough. <laughs> You're doing just fine, little Anka. Relax. Feel the breath of the wind. Taste the salt of the sea. Swashbuckling's about being free. Being free? Aye. We go where we want, do as we please. No gods. No masters. It's a dangerous life, though. What we do. We all gotta die one day. This old sea dog will go out in a glorious blaze. Blade to blade with a worthy foe. Ah, <clears throat> Captain! At ease, Hori. Are we prepped for voyage? Aye. Good. And who might you be? Crewmate Anka, ma'am. Ah, Thalmanova, right? Glad to have you aboard, Anka. We've got big plans. And it won't hurt to have another inquest engineer aboard. Thank you. I won't let you down, Captain.